Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Repfile. Today I'm going to bring you another how to video. Now, when I got into mode of vlogging a few months ago, one of the things I said was at some point I'd like to give back to the community wherever I could. So, today this is my little contribution. Anytime I go on different forums or when I see other vloggers' videos, a very common question is how do you mount the GoPro or your action cam to the chin mount? What chin mounts do you use, etc.? I know there's various options out there. I've seen people using straps. I've seen people have some type of bar that they've like screwed in. But uh, what I'm going to show you is a really simple way to mount your GoPro to the chin of just about any helmet. The only one you might have a problem with is some of the dual sport helmets that have the big vents in the front. Um, I mean, you could certainly mount it this way but you're going to block those vents. Alright so here's what you're going to need uh, to do this. You're going to need some of this blue painters tape, a pair of scissors, uh, it's probably good to have a file. I'll show you why here in a little bit. If you don't have a file you could use a butter knife or something to, to do this. Uh, some 3M tape. You're going to want to get some of this JB Weld steel stick or you know, there's some other brands out there that do the same thing. Uh, of course, your camera and your camera mounts. All right. So, end result, you're gonna have something that looks like this here. Okay. Basically, we're gonna use the JB Weld, and then we're gonna put 3M tape on the back. Now, what I would recommend doing is put your brackets and stuff together mock it up and make sure you got enough clearance for the camera to you know to move around now I've, I've used my mount uh, you know sideways now you can certainly mount it up and down but you're gonna need a different you're gonna need a different GoPro mount they make a GoPro mount that kinda sticks out a little bit more I don't have that one so I had to mount mine sideways so here's something to be aware of uh, when you mount it on the chin if you have a vent on the on the front here be wary of you know the direction that the vent opens up if you do this wrong you're going to not be able to open the vent up okay now the helmet we're going to show you on it opens a different way so we're not going to have a problem uh, basically what we're going to do we're going to cover the front here with the, the with the blue painters tape now for something that like this this GT Air, I'd recommend putting the vent down when you do this. That way, when you finish, you know, molding it, it's going to mold right around this. And you can be very liberal with the tape. Basically, you don't want to leave any exposed areas for this JB Weld to stick to. Now if you don't care, like if you don't ever want to take the mount off, you could bypass this whole part. You could just stick the steel stick right to the right to the helmet. Now next you're gonna basically get all this 3M tape that's on here off. By whatever means necessary. Okay, now that you got all that tape off, I'd probably maybe uh, use some alcohol or some soap or something to wash that down because you've probably left greasy fingerprints on it. Okay, now that you've got that cleaned off a little bit, you can take your file or your butter knife or something and just like rough you know, rough this area up as much as you can. That'll give it like this will give the uh, JB Weld like an area to stick to better instead of just being this flat shiny area. pretty decent gob. If you use too much of this stuff, it's just going to overflow on the sides, and I mean, that's fine. You could just take the, your file and file it off if it's too much. 
Okay, so it looks like it's going to be okay. So we're going to mash this on here a little bit. All right. I know, probably could use a little bit more, but I think this will be okay. Now you're going to pick a good spot to press that. So once you get that in the position you like, I uh, would just leave it sit there for maybe maybe 10 minutes, let it cure. Alright guys, so now we can remove the tape. Yeah, it's been about 10 minutes. This seems pretty cured. If you leave this on too long, that tape might be hard to get off the mount. But this is why I use the uh, painter's tape. It doesn't stick to your helmet. It comes right off. And it should come right off your mold. Okay guys, so we have our mold made. I would set this aside for maybe an hour or so just to let it cure up and make sure it's going to be good to go for the next step. Okay, so what I like to do is cut the 3M tape into some strips and put in here. That way, if you just put, if you put like a big chunk on there, it has a tendency to bind up in, in the little curved part. So if you cut it into strips, it seems like it sticks a little bit better. Once you put the 3M tape on, you're going to end up with a bunch of stuff that's hanging off. Just take the scissors and trim around it. Okay, so we got that trimmed up. And now comes the, the part that's pretty much the hardest part of the whole thing. And that's peeling this backing off the 3M tape. Okay, so we got the backing off and we're ready to apply our new mount. Make sure you get this, you're going to have to get this right on the money because it's going to be pretty difficult to get this tape back off. Alright, so there's the mount. Just press it on there pretty hard. Um, what you could do is maybe set this aside. Brace it up against the wall or something for a little while. Um, that way the 3M tape will cure and it'll be a lot more stable. I wouldn't trust putting your GoPro on this right now, but if you leave this set up overnight, the next day this thing's going to be rock solid. Alright guys, so there, there you go. A uh, affordable, easy to apply chin mount for your GoPro. Alright everybody, and as always, stay safe and keep at least one wheel on the ground. Peace out!